Hello there, Libra, and welcome to your monthly forecast. This is for the month of March, and this adorable little creature here is uh, Apollo. He kept making his presence known as I was starting to hit record, so I thought I would let him make a guest appearance in this particular uh, reading. I think he wants to give you some love. I want to talk a little bit about what's coming through energetically this month. I know for a lot of you, um, it feels like the past month, the past two months have been very, very transformative energies. And um, I have a lot to talk about in the channeled information. So I'm gonna put this resplendent being down and now we can get started. As you know, each month I like to select a deck of cards that I'm gonna use for your sign and meditate to see what comes through as far as visuals, energy, um, empathic downloads. The image for Libra this month that I received during the meditation was, um, it was very, it was very sort of surreal or sort of sci-fi. What I saw was a mirror and um, you walking right through the mirror and kind of into your own created reality, if you will. And what I wrote down uh, in my automatic writing was this, your thoughts attract and create your reality. And I put your in um, parentheses because reality in general is sort of a, it's an illusion, it's a construct and uh, it's constantly sort of subjective and being molded by how we feel, how we react, what we're pushing out, what we're attracting um, into our life. So your future, this is why destiny when I pull a spread is malleable. There is a sort of uh, possibility out there for all of us and we can either embrace it or we can completely create something new. This month is about doing what you need to get where you need to be um, and, and to release that feeling of I am stuck because the other image that came through in my meditation was the hanged man. Sometimes I just see a card in my head too. So I saw the hanged man and then uh, I saw the representation of you or me or whoever was going through this experience is walking through a mirror. The mirror is not flat, it is not um, reflecting you, it is a portal, which I took the mirror to be your thoughts, your reflection, your, your projection into the world. So if you can see yourself in a different place, in a different future, you can create that future. You have a lot more power than you believe you have this month, uh, and always for that matter, but the message is create your own your own sort of image of what you need, what you want, and make it happen. Um, so again, your thoughts attract and create your reality. Um, know that there's great power in that. Okay, this month I'm gonna be using a special deck for you. It's brand new. I wanted to do a review this month, but all the readings are a little longer, so it's probably gonna to have to wait a month or two. I'll put a link, because I can anticipate some of you asking what it is. Um, the, the deck itself is, um, Bianco Nero. Uh, it's a black and white deck, really powerful imagery, and I used it for your sign this month because we need to get past illusions as we're looking at the messages. And when you take all the colors out and you kind of simplify it, I think we're going to be able to do that. So again, I'll be doing a review on this probably in the coming months. Um, it'll be the fourth link, so you'll have to click show more or in the card, it'll be the fourth card. Um, I do like it quite a bit. It's brand new, but um, you're the first sign that I'm using it with. So let's see what's coming through for you. Um, as you know, at this point, I like to remain quiet. I'm going to be pulling a full Celtic cross for you as well as all signs this month. So give me a moment to um, shuffle and arrange the cards and then we will talk about each card and their meaning for you. and your catalyst as well. Okay, let's now uh, pull the camera up, look at each card, and I'll break down what it means for you. Your catalyst this month is the Book of Life. The card was reversed, but this is uh, nonetheless the message here. And I would be remiss not to mention that in your possibility space, we have death. And what I'm seeing here is the active sort of opportunity to create, to destroy, to reorder things this month. And when the Book of Life card is in reverse, much like what we're seeing here with the World card in reverse, um, there's a chance for you to let go of an old piece of yourself and become something new. And you'll notice that um, this particular World card shows uh, two faces. 
And I often will mention Janus when I'm looking at sort of death or transformation. It's interesting that we have death and then the world right on top of each other uh, right here. And then we have this book of life card uh, as your catalyst. So what I'm seeing this month is whatever, again, whatever it was that you have been doing, maybe over the past two, three, four years even, there's a chance now for you to take it to a higher level or to uh, sort of diverge, go on to a different path. And I, that's actually how I'm reading the world card with the two futures. And you sort of are straddling a couple of opportunities in your life. Some of you, this could be the path to possibly being in a partnership, a, a marriage, a business partnership, or you might be deciding to embark on something that's going to change your life, taking a new class, um, traveling the world, or quitting your job and doing something new. But there's this big breakthrough that's happening within you. And uh, what, what we have to see sort of this month is how you can embrace what your true path is on this planet. And what I like about the book of life, if we take away sort of like historical and biblical type of um, definitions that would go into it, is you get to create, you get to choose, you get to um, sort of align yourself with the soul purpose, but then the free will enters in. And this is how I'm interpreting it, um, is that there's an active role. I say that because we have both the three and the um, eight of pentacles here. So that's a master craftsmanship kind of card, and this is the apprentice. So master and apprentice, creating, learning, expanding, and then the ultimate expansion card here, the world, right above death. There's so much change, so much opportunity. It's really exciting to see how each of you are going to embrace it. Let's go card by card. Uh, looking at your center, I challenge you a little bit this month to try to overcome any sort of emotional blocks that you might be having. Uh, for those of you that are writers, artists, creatives, this could literally be a block because you're not feeling that you are where you need to be. For others of you, this could be comparing yourself favorably or unfavorably to others in your life and knowing that in your heart, this isn't a fair comparison because that's their journey. This is your journey. Try to embrace what is possible. Don't look at lost time, uh, lost opportunities missteps, etc. With the five of cups, it's always better to focus on what's in front. I'm sorry, what's in front rather than what's behind you. And um, this is a morning card too. It can be morning something that you thought would happen, but didn't. But realizing if you embrace the seed that is now in front of you, you can grow or create something new from that experience. And that's what the three of pentacles is all about. Notice in this particular three that there are no people um, looking up at the, the sort of master builder here. And I like that message for you because what it's saying is tune out the voices. If you're trying to do something to better yourself, this could again be going back to school, getting a GED, going to college, learning something just because it feels good. And someone in your life doesn't understand, doesn't support, can't see your vision of who you can be, tune them out. If you are like me, an artist and doing something creative, this card is saying this isn't the month to be bringing other voices to the table. You have to be clear on your vision and you have to work perhaps a little bit in isolation right now. Uh, what I love about this, though, is that there is the promise and really the understanding that eventually, if you stay true to your vision, whatever it is you're trying to evoke, create, um, manifest, it'll happen. But you have, to, you have to go back to the basics and remember what there was before other people were saying things. When we look at the past, um, some of you are really, really ready for a change to happen. I read your comments, by the way, each month, and I know that a lot of you have been saying, when is it going to change? When is it going to move? I think this is the beginning of the shift for many of you. Um, we have the Ten of Wands, a card of usually sometimes showing a little bit of a burden and a feeling like it has to happen. Notice how this person is upright, is able to handle everything. The card is reverse. So I'm seeing as, as we look at what's been happening, the past two months, hopefully many of you have been letting go, letting go of the feeling that this, all of this weight on your shoulders, all of the weight of responsibility, of expectations. I, don't, I want you to be easier on yourselves to celebrate that you are here, that you survived, that you're now creating new things. And when you let go, when you let go of the baggage, and that's really what this Ten of Wands is saying, anything is possible. The Hierophant in reverse. 
This is a month where you may be finding that it's necessary for you to, as a part of that release, walk away from structure. I want you to experience some freedom. It's not necessarily the freedom of the fool where you don't worry about anything, but it's allowing your mind to wander, something that we see here in your ego. This is a month of expansion for you. So the Hierophant saying, yeah, you can have a little bit of organization, you know, you should have a schedule, but don't be afraid to deviate and don't be afraid to whatever it is you're trying to do, um, allow for wild ideas or, um, you know, sort of new ways of completion to sort of enter in that process. It's a very busy month. You know, I don't see a lot of relationship energy this month. I see a lot of work and personal development and healing and knowledge acquisition. All of that's what really wants to come through. Your crowning card sums it up here with the eight of pentacles. It's a it's all the work that you're going to be doing on yourself that ultimately is going to set the stage for how people around you react to you. And I will say this with both your three of pentacles and uh, eight of pentacles. This is a powerful month to use your communication skills uh, to your advantage. We have the queen of swords in the near future. She's reversed. For some of you, that means going through and auditing your life, deciding what it is you want to stick with this year, what you want to take away, um, speaking your truth honestly, strongly to others. But there's also sort of an underlined note here that you don't want to be too critical on yourself because that critical and if it's lacking constructive criticism, that critical nature could start to kind of sit in your energy. So if you start to think um, I'm not this enough or that enough, like if I'm not beautiful or I'm not smart or I'm not able to do this or it's never going to happen, remember the mirror, you're going to start to construct a reality that you'll manifest. So what I want you to do is practice positive affirmative thoughts thinking that I am making progress on my goal. That's actually the main thing that, that comes through. I am someone that's worth investing in because I'm investing in myself. I'm working on myself. I'm a, I'm a good investment. I'm enough for myself. I'm enough for others. I'm more than enough for others. Starting to feel this sense of good self-worth, good development, and then starting to think, you know, this goal that I'm, I'm reaching for, it's within it's within my grasp. Whenever I see something like three of pentacles, three of wands right at the center, it's showing that you can accomplish what you want. You're already doing the work. Three of wands shows it's coming in. Three of pentacles shows it's in progress. So um, you're already there. You just have to sort of embrace that. When I'm looking at your soul card this month, there's this desire to understand. A very Libra trait, a very um, something that's very intrinsic of air signs. Uh, what, what is interesting about the way this particular Seven of Cups is illustrated is your process of exploration can be daunting sometimes. If your vision is clouded, if you're trying to do too many things, the universe doesn't know where to start to, to support you. Um, so make it clear what's most important, focus on that first, and then work your way through the list. One strong energy is coming up in your environment. We have the Emperor card in reverse. This can be um, an elder in your life, uh, a grandfather, grandmother, mother, father, uncle, aunt, etc. It can just be an, a mentor as well. Um, this can also indicate a sort of innate stubbornness or traditional nature that you might be having that very much is in line with the Hierophant as well. Both of these cards reversed. This is saying for you, let go a little bit of control. This is saying let go of structure. And this is so that you can let the creative energies flow through you, not overthinking them, simply channeling them, simply allowing yourself to be present in that flow of opportunity, something that I've been seeing for a few different signs this month. Now we get into the interesting cards here. In your environment is death. Death personifies for me a portal, a transformative energy, a choice a choice to embrace the path you're on or a choice to create and by definition, let go, destroy or release the old path. You are at a nexus this month. You have decisions to make. And one of those decisions is, um, is it okay to step away from something? 
for some of you, this can be something that you're embracing. Like, I can't wait to get to the next thing. Maybe, again, it could be a, an acceptance letter for getting into a university. It could be, um, you know, that you won a contest, that you are getting a raise, or you're, you've got a new job, you left the old one behind. But for some of you, there could be a palpable and sort of very emotional connection to what it is that you're letting go of. And it's the holding on to the past that is either going to allow you to go back and fix that, do work on that, or prevent you maybe from moving forward. So if you're holding on to past energy, why is it there? Why can't you let go of it? Is there work yet to be done? Is it simply a security blanket that is making you feel safe? And uh, on some levels, keeping you from the success or the opportunity in front of you because you're afraid of what that might mean. Um, so you're going to have to look at the trigger for yourself because the big, the net effect of if you go down the other path, sort of like in, I've been talking about the matrix and a couple of uh, signs this month because I saw it, but it's like when you get to choose between the red and the blue pill, um, you get to sort of stay where you're at or get to go deeper and more expansive uh, in your future. The world card in reverse is saying that future that you see, it's there for you, but, uh, but it's, it's a reality, it's an alternate reality. Do you want to go there or do you not want to go there? With the world card, the very positive aspects of it, if we were to look at it in the upright position, this is sort of like the graduation card in the major arcana. The, the sort of journey of the fool as we look at all of the different cards, it's experienced everything from heartbreak to um, building itself up to um, understanding its own divinity and ultimately knowing what its life purpose is. And when it gets to that world card, there's no fear anymore. And you'll notice again, you, in, in some decks, it, it's actually nude as well, kind of like the star card, because you are now embodying the divine if you want to, your divine purpose in this case. And that's why we have the book of, uh, the book of life here. So, and we have so many uh, cards here that are indicating your words, your thoughts, um, your beliefs are going to create the future. You are your own author, whether or not you write this month. This is showing that you're writing your own, your, your own screenplay to your life. And so create, manifest what you want. And know this, the universe has your back this month. It is supporting you. It's not working counter to you. It's waiting for you to decide. One other message that's coming through for the world card is that of expansion, of reaching out, of traveling, of seeing the world, of allowing your voice, your message, your image to sort of be out there. So there's something this month that's opening you up to some sort of connection to a larger group, whether that's literally like distribution and publication or simply deciding I'm now ready to kind of connect with a larger, um, a larger community, et cetera. But first you do that introspective work and then you connect with the larger group. Uh, I'm going to try to break this down on a couple of levels here for those of you that really just want more tangible information. You're like, well, what does this mean if I'm in a relationship? This means that it's either going to go to the next level or it's going to end because we have death in the world. Same thing for a career. You're either going to stay at this job or you're going to decide to leave. Uh, I see some really good opportunities happening for you in finance. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. If you've been having a sluggish beginning to the new year, that's going to end. Um, if you've had blockages as far as being able to sell products or expand your um, sort of reach, that ends as well. There's travel that wants to happen on the horizon. You get to choose to embrace it or not embrace it, but it's there. Um, the, the main message here is you need to be comfortable with ambiguity and embrace change. These are the keys to success this month. This is one of the most powerful readings I've had for Libra, probably in at least a year. And... Um, this is the beginning of a big shift energetically for your sign. So with all of that being said, uh, suffice to say, I'm really excited to look at health, wealth, love, and destiny. We'll begin with health, knowing that health is not simply what's going on in your body, but really how you are feeling on a spiritual level. And um, knowing that that has a very specific and direct effect on your physical being as well. So we have this card of courage, take action with passion. So uh, as I was driving this morning, I heard the theme to flash dance, which I think is what a feeling. Um, and that kind of connects with this. So that's going through my head as I looked at this courage and um, take your passion and make it happen, I think was actually a line in that. 
So um, what I want you to do this month with your health. Is there something that you want to change in your body or in the way that you're thinking or the way that you're feeling? This is the month to, uh, there's, so much, there's so much reinforcement this month about what you want, what you think, what you feel, creating what you are. So if you want to make the change, see that you can do it, make it happen. Don't be afraid to do what's necessary. This is also a card that's saying tune into your body. Um, are you feeling that something's out of sync with where it should be? If so, trust that and find a specialist that will listen to you because we have the ability to know what's wrong with our body sometimes before it shows up. This is also saying that many of you know what you need to do uh, as far as life changes go. Uh, if there's anything toxic or unhealthy that you're doing, this is the time to take the first step towards um, a healthier, happier lifestyle. Let's look now at wealth and see what opportunities are in front of you knowing that it's not just money, but how you're reacting to, how you're attracting those. And because of the powerful messages of manifestation, this is especially important this month. So uh, we're looking at exactly what I'd want to see in a wealth card, prosperity. Let me uh, pull the camera up and read the card for a second. It says, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams in reality. The card was reversed, which is showing for some of you, there's still this doubt. And I think this has to do with self-worth. We see the horn of plenty here and there's just coins coming out of it. There's actually, I believe, yeah, just coins. There's no um, fruit, but it's the same message here. So if you believe you are supported, if you believe you are worth time, energy, love, support from others, then the universe will start to deliver that. If you doubt yourself, if you think that you're going to continue to have problems, then the universe will test you with situations that will manifest that reality until you know that I don't need to do that path anymore. Three of Pentacles, good work, work that is worth recognition, support. Eight of Pentacles, abundance when it comes to money and also sustainable abundance development on yourself, growth of a product or an idea. These are good cards for finance. You don't have anything here that's showing that you can't improve or you can't sustain or you can't overcome whatever it is that was blocking you from the past. It's up here. Um, the, the biggest part is up here, de decisions. You have to make a decision on what you want. All right, looking at love, knowing that love isn't just romance, but how you are calling love into your world or um, pushing it away. Success. The message here is, I know that there is no greater goal than uh, to love. <laughs> so you can succeed at your goal of loving and being loved. And I think this card has more to do with being loved and the fact that we have both of these cards in reverse, your worth and self-worth card and your love and self-love card. Um, I think your biggest challenge this month when it comes to relationships is constructively looking at your life, not being so critical, celebrating the successes, looking really objectively at everything that's in front of you and everything that's behind you and setting free some of those past feelings that you had and practicing good self-love and self-respect, looking in the mirror and thinking, I'm exactly the way I need to be right here and right now. I created and manifested this reality. God helped me on this path. This is divinely supported. I don't need to change anything. Once you really believe that you are exactly as you should be and that you love who you are and who you're becoming, because um, for some of you, it's a work in progress sort of thing, then everything starts to ease around you. It's not about finding the love of your life. It's about loving yourself more than anything this month. All right, looking at your GPS card, I call this destiny, but it would be more accurately uh, sort of stated to see it as a chance for you to look at where you're going and alter it if needed. So we have the arrow master hitting the mark, intention and detachment. Powerful message here. This is about clarifying your vision, right? So the first thing here is you can't, Imagine if you were holding a bow, a bow and arrow and you were trying to, um, it was like a moving target or it's in six different places or seven different places. You wouldn't be able to hit it very effectively if it's constantly moving around. 
once you've set your, your eyes on something and you know exactly where you need to go, you can precisely work towards that. You can hit the mark, but you have to have the clarity, the intention, and then the follow through. And lastly, and most importantly, is that law of detachment, knowing that I, I, it's basically already out there. I don't have to need it or want it. I just have to show up and follow through. Um, again, if I'm going to reference the matrix, it's the understanding that some of the things have already been set into place. You don't have to you don't have to worry about dodging the bullets. You know where the bullets are. You know where the opportunities are. You're creating the code this month. And um, it's a beautiful spiritual movie if you look at it in that respect. So I want you to uh, really embrace your inner programmer, your ability to create the program that you are running, uh, your, the reality that you want to make, or to put it in sort of more common terms, like if you're writing your own story, you, you get to know the ending. The only challenging part is figuring out what you want to do to make that happen. And if you can embrace that this is truly where I'm going. We don't always get to know how long it's going to take, but if we keep believing in that goal like an athlete would as they work towards the Olympics, they may not get it the first time, but the second time they might. And the difference between that athlete and another one that just never achieved the goal is that they don't give up. They put in the hard work. And that's really what we're looking at at the beginning of this year for you is to um, be relentless when it comes to doing everything required to make your goal a reality. Uh, so God in the universe supports those who continue to work hard and um, believe in themselves. So crystal clarity, precision, and continuing to kind of do the work, show up every day and do the work on yourself. That's your main job, not what you do from nine to five, not all the distractions around you. It's what is what am I trying to do on this planet? What am I trying to do right now? How can I get to that point? And I'm not going to give up ever. That's why I signed up for this job, my life, so that I could do this thing. When you know what this thing is, you're going to be able to do it. For some of you, it could be finding the love of your life. For some of you, it could be starting a business. For some of you, it could be humanitarian work. Whatever your goal and aspiration is, I'm challenging you this month to get out of the sort of um, everyday cycle that you're in. Uh, work, community, family, that could be distracting you and think a little bit, meditate a little bit, and get back to your, your goal at hand, the book of life. All right, this is a nice segue now because I'd like to get back into reviewing everything and then we'll wrap everything up. Uh, so I've talked at the beginning about this and I think as the reading progressed, it became very clear. Your thoughts attract and create your own reality. And so just know that you have the ability to change the story, to change the ending, or to continue with this. Uh, life is a choose your own adventure, if you remember that. If you're a child of the 70s and 80s, you'll remember this sort of book where you got to kind of choose different outcomes. We're always on that path. We have, I, I honestly believe that there's sort of like this multiple dimensional reality where there's one version of you that chose that other decision and there's one that's here, like Sliding Doors, the movie. So we always get to choose different destinies. Don't feel like you're stuck. You have a lot of choice this month. Uh, and always, it's just coming through very strong. Uh, in this particular reading. Your central card was Five of Cups. Focus on possibilities. If you'd like to mourn a loss, mourn it, but don't let that sort of thing in the past define who you're going to be in the present. Get busy with the work at hand. Know that you've already done a lot of what's necessary. Uh, the, the key thing for you is to continue working without the noise or the desire to please. The only thing that you have to be true to is the vision of what this means to you and what it was supposed to accomplish. If you do that, you're fine. Continue to let go. Continue to know that you're already very close to your destination. Some of you may be moving, by the way, because we have the Ten of Wands and the Death card and the World. All three of these equate a move, a change of residence, a change of job. So it feels like the work has already started on this or the opportunity has already presented itself. I feel like it's a good change if it's something that is coming through. Even if it was unexpected, a loss of a job or needing to move in with somebody, ultimately it's going to lead to other things for you. Letting go of strict or stringent ways of thinking and doing things. A little bit of sort of uh, organization in your life is good, but if it's too rigid, then you start to get kind of stubborn and it could block out this transformative energy that wants to come through on the top. Keep doing the work, show up every day. Uh, and know that that persistence, that perseverance is what's going to pay off. Release critical thoughts. 
This is the biggest thing that I think you need to focus on releasing the Queen of Swords in reverse is about critical and unnecessarily critical thoughts. It's also about speaking your truth and speaking up if you need to. So if there are things that you want to change or things that you have to say, don't be afraid to go there. This month, your mind really wants to explore different paths, different choices. And although that's good to do for a while, it is important to really make a decision. There's some very strong energy in your life. One or two people. We have both the, the uh, emperor and the hierophant. It could be a mother and father. It could be a couple of friends. It could be colleagues or a boss. But this energy comes through as restrictive, as um, somewhat negative. And this month, you need to be expansive and positive. So walk away from the, that kind of energy. Death. Simply put, change. This month is all about moving into the unknown. Don't let death scare you. It's that road where there's a new chance to create some other reality. And finally, you are supported on that. There's choices. You have to decide which direction to go. And, um, and if you do that, then the world is ready to support you. Take the change. Take the step that you need to make whatever it is that you want in your health to happen. So if you want to get better and you've been feeling sort of lethargic or you have some sort of um, toxic habit that you want to let go of, this is the month to ask for help. This is also just the time to chase your dreams, knowing that that passion, that excitement is also going to make you healthier and um, bring in a sense of renewal and vitality. The horn of plenty, prosperity is here. You have to believe it. You have to embrace it. And then the opportunity will flow through for you. Um, this is going to happen not only with self-respect, but self-love uh, and self-worth. A lot of healing on your own soul level is necessary this month. And then finally, as we look at destiny, the important pieces uh, to in, in order to hit the mark, you need to have this idea of intention. Where am I headed? Where is the where's the story going before you start writing it, before you start figuring out how am I going to make it happen? And then detach a little bit, knowing that you're supported. It's already in motion. And all you have to do is be present and sort of talked about this in a few signs, ride the energetic wave that's already carrying you to the right destination. If you do that, you're going to be great this month. Um, I hope this was helpful. Again, one of the more exciting readings for your sign, a lot of transformative energy, not just with like, like we got death, the world, uh, the 10 of wands and beautiful three and eight of pentacles, really great energy. Uh, you have to move past some of those old patterns first particularly uh, focusing on self-worth and self-love. I think if you do that, there's some really great energy this month that will begin, but it's like the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more to come in 2019. Go deeper into that rabbit hole. Allow for the world to um, show itself to you and the opportunities to come through, okay? If you ever wanna talk a little bit more in depth about what's going on with you, I'd be happy to do that. You can check out the first card or the first link below the video. I'll put information below as well. And you can check rates and availability. As you probably know, everything that you see here is viewer supported. So if you want to make a difference, the most impactful way to do so is to join me on Patreon, donate $1 a month and know that that allows me to buy new supplies, set up the time to do these videos. And it's just a great energetic exchange, cheaper than the price of coffee. And it means the world to me. You can also do a one-time donation on my website with a donation as little as $1 for the whole year. If you're uh, constrained budget wise, another way that you can support me is is simply by sharing this with someone that you like. So I'm going to put all my social media uh, connections here. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I have a newsletter. You can use whatever platform you're on and share this. And this is a great way for me to kind of expand the message, kind of like the world card here. I want to reach as many people as I can, raise consciousness, and raise understanding of the sort of spiritual stuff that we talk about each month. Of course, if you haven't already liked this video and subscribed to my channel, please do that as well uh, and opt into no notifications if you want to know when there's new videos. Uh, finally, I like to just end every video with some gratitude. This month, I really, really am excited with what I'm seeing for your sign. I feel like this is what it's all about. Growth, change, development, embracing all of the opportunities and getting past those roadblocks. That's what I'm here to help you do. And I want each of us to shine. And hopefully my goal is to sort of inspire other people to be teachers, to be light workers, to help change this world. As you do that, as you make a difference, it's almost as if there's all these stars lighting up over the globe. If you ever look at a, an aerial picture of the planet at night, it's all these little twinkling lights. That's what I see all of the work that we're doing equating to more light on this planet. We need it right now. So thank you for continuing to work on yourself. 
it's well worth the journey and inspire others, hopefully the same way that I'm doing that for you. Thanks for letting me be part of your journey. Wishing you love and light until we talk again. Thank you.